Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show off scaling in OpenShift. In particular, I'm going to show off our auto scaling features. And the scenario for this is going to be we were contacted by a large Dungeons and Dragons conference organizer and they want us to write a random character generator and then host it for their show. And so I was like, great, I love doing that. I love Dungeons and Dragons. I love writing Java code. Let's do it. So I spun up a OpenShift application and this application consists of JBoss EAP, because I like Java. It's on large gears, because I know this is gonna be a production application and I wanna give it the resources it needs. And then I'm also gonna make it scalable with a load balancer, right? So when you see the load balancer there, that means this is a scalable application and OpenShift will actually automatically scale up, starting with one up to the number of gears available as load increases. And it uses an algorithm based on the number of connections coming in and what the queue is to handle that. Uh, if you want, you can read more on the documentation on how that's handled. You can actually write your own algorithms. There's a file that you can alter to make it based on CPU or memory consumption, but I'm gonna just do a default application to know what you get out of the box. So the code is very simple. I just wanna show it. Uh, there's a JAXRS web service and it basically has two different URLs. The base URL just makes a character. And then there's also, you can also do one where the URL has a name at the end of it. And that adds a name to the character other than the randomly generated one. And then the generator, right? Here's the character. Basically all it's doing is it's got a couple pre-configured things like the races and the player classes. And then by default, it generates a random string. Otherwise you can set the string for the name, right? And then it just has a bunch of randoms inside. So it's doing a little bit of processing. It's not talking to a database or anything, but it's doing some processing and some real math. Um, the other thing about this is I'm not following real Dungeons and Dragons rules. That would be a bit more complicated to code up and I didn't think it was necessary for the demo. So for example, a uh, half orc could be a wizard and you could have an, a wisdom less than five and still be a cleric right so it's obviously not the real rules but it's for our demonstration purposes so what that gives you is a rest endpoint here this is the character one i hit it and i generate a new character right and then i can generate a new character and then if i wanted to pass in the name i can say beastmaster and there my character is now named beastmaster it's a thief but it's a beastmaster all right, and be, I remember I said we had a load balancer called HA proxy. There I did one request. So you see we've had two sessions here. This is the HA proxy screen. This express part is the part we want to pay attention to. This local gear is the application, right? This is the one with HA proxy and JBoss on it currently. And it's handled a couple requests before, a couple sessions before. We're going to reload it. And so if I did a couple requests back there, so it updates. Watch if I hit it again. There's another Beastmaster, this time it's a Druid. And if I reload this page, you can see we did one more session, right? This page does not auto reload so throughout the demo. You'll see me reloading this page. And then to test our application, or in this case, to show what it would be like when all those dungeon players come and play, is I've written a script uh, in our favorite load testing service, which is BlazeMeter. And it allows you to easily do JMeter in the cloud as a service. And so what I'm doing is, um, OpenShift is in Amazon East, and we're going to spin this up in Amazon West. I wanted to move it at least one step away from being in the same data center. Then I'm going to do 3,500 users, and they're going to hit with a frequency of every three seconds. And this is in a stress scenario. So those 3,500 users will spin up within 15 minutes, which is actually a, quite a rapid spin up for um, a normal web application. And you'll see how many hits per second we're actually putting on the application when this is all spun up. And then we're gonna hit all these different URLs and that's gonna go round robin. So there'll be some that'll be doing a random character, some will be Legolas, some will be Gollum, some will be Star-Lord, some will be Bob, some will be Toriel. But it's basically, I don't wanna make sure there's nothing cached that we're going through a bunch of different stuff here. And that's it. So we're ready to start our demo. The D&D conference starts and we're gonna launch our servers. And this takes a little while to start up but I wanna also make sure that you also see that I'm not doing any shenanigans. I'm gonna start a timer and that's gonna go throughout the whole talk so you can see that when I speed things up, how much I've actually sped things up by because the timer's running up there. Because parts of this demo, you were just waiting for users to spin up and it's not much fun watching that. So 
This is started, it's gonna take a while. It started up three of the servers out of five. And I'm gonna go quiet so I can fast forward through this part and then we'll come back at various points when interesting things happen. Okay, at this point we've actually really got BlazeMeter going now. Uh, the blue dot represents the maximum number of users, which is about 11, and the green dot is the response time, and those will form lines as we move along. Uh, BlazeMeter updates once every minute. So if you look at the statistics report back in HA Proxy, I reload the page, and you can see there's currently about 55 different requests coming in. Right? And then we're going to go over here. We started doing more requests. Most of my time today is going to be spent showing you max users, but I'm also going to show you hits per second, right? So we're currently at about 156 users. I also want to show you hits per second because we're already at about 16 hits per second, right? Which is actually a fairly healthy traffic for a normal web application, but it's going to go much higher than this as we move on. So you'll see me switching back and forth between the two. The one I'm going to keep the same is response time. So response time is how long it takes for the entire JSON packet to load, right? It's the request plus the load of the JSON packet. So you can see I'm generating more. That's the response time. All right, and we'll just keep doing that throughout the test to show you that everything stays responsive while all the scaling happens as well. So there's a unique user. I'm gonna go quiet again while we start to scale up and then I'll show you more things. about halfway up our user ramp, the last time interval, which is the most accurate. These are always kind of in progress until the minute's done. This last time interval, we were hitting about halfway there. And that also translates to about 354 hits per second, which is quite a heavy load. Um, but you can see that our scaling demo is still responsive and generating a new character, even with all the random stuff being generated. And if I go to HA proxy. You can see we're still handling this just with one gear. You can see we've got about 390, which matches up to where we were seeing before with our users. Um, no, not with our users, sorry, with the number of hits per second. And we're gonna wait now until we actually have a scaling event happen. Right now, there's no reason for us to scale up. I don't have to sit around and watch whether this is, needs to scale up or not. OpenShift is taking care of that for me. So when we hit a scaling event, I'll come back and we'll fast forward to there. Here we go. What we can see is response time is starting to go up. And so what happens is that's a good indication that we've got extra load on our servers. And so what HA Proxy did was it saw that load and said, you know what, we need another gear. So please spin up another gear, bring it into the load pool, and now we've got another gear. I didn't have to do anything. It was all happening automatically in the background. And it's now plugged into the load balancer and it's being um, requests are being distributed between the two. And as you can see, the balance changes between the two right here and this one. HA proxy is still on this gear at this point. So it's just spun up another gear. And you can see that the app is still extremely responsive, even with us serving up approximately 2,800, 2,900, probably behind the scenes right now. And hits per second, we're serving up at least 600 hits per second, which is a pretty hefty load for any web application. Granted, this application isn't doing much, but that's still a lot of transactions to process, or you could say requests to process. So that auto scaling event happened based on the algorithm set up without any human intervention. And you'll see that we've got a lot of load going here. So we're probably going to spin up another gear quite soon. Increase load as we start to get very close to our maximum number of users, we've actually spun up another gear. And something different happens at this point with the scaling algorithm. Once we actually need more than one extra gear, what happens is HA proxy gets put on its own gear, the original gear right here. And then what happens is the other two gears are actually used for serving up requests. Because at this kind of load, 
HA proxy is taking up too much compute to be shared with another gear. So at this point, we've now moved HA proxy onto its own gear. And again, this all happened automatically behind the scenes without me having to do anything. And you can see the app is still incredibly responsive, right? Even with how many users are hitting it currently? There's 792 users, 737. How many hits per second? Right, so we're now up around 652 hits per second, and still it's this responsive. Right, so we hand, we're handling a pretty big load from that Dungeons and Dragons conference, all of them generating characters. And so I'm going to let this run just for a little bit, and then what I'm going to do, I don't want to let it run for the full hour. The Blaze Meter test would run for an hour normally, just to see how the servers hold up. But this isn't that complicated of an application, so it'll get to a kind of a steady state and keep going. Well, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the load test and then let you watch as OpenShift removes the gears that are no longer needed, again, without any human intervention. But let's wait a little bit and get it. Okay, so it's been running for quite a while now. Everything's still very responsive, All right? And you can see we're basically handling about <clears throat> 765 hits per second. It's bouncing around between different numbers, 800, 600, but on average, it's about 700 hits per second. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stop the test to watch the scale down events happen. So what I'm gonna do, stop. And I'm just going to terminate the servers rather than a graceful shutdown. And this will stop all the requests. So once the termination is done, I'll show you that. Okay, so they should be terminated now. Let's see over in the AJ proxy page. Yeah, so we've dropped to zero. Right? So there's no more load testing going on. It's stopped. And you could say, well, why isn't it scaling down immediately? Well, because in a real web scenario, what happens is there's peaks and troughs in traffic. And it's we don't want to just scale up and scale down and flap is what we call it. We don't want to flap around a lot. So what we do is we have a we wait a bit to see what the average income of traffic is, and then we'll scale down when it drops below a certain level. So it's gonna take a little while for it to scale down, and it'll scale down one at a time. So again, I'm gonna go quiet so we can fast forward. And I'll see you when the next scale down happens. We've scaled down one gear automatically. There, now you can see we've put HA proxy back on the same gear and we're down one gear. And it's gonna keep monitoring and seeing when the next scale down should happen. It should happen relatively soon since they scaled up relatively close together and the load turned off at about the same time. And there we go, we're back down to one gear. So you can see all of the scaling and capacity handling required no intervention, and it works excellent in a web scenario. Thanks.